guys, good afternoon. Welcome from Minsk. Ah, you've caught me. I'm in the I'm in, I'm in my kitchen, um, you know, making some dinner. Uh, so how is everybody? How are you guys all in uh, quarantine? Hope everybody's staying safe, staying clear from everybody and engaging in a bit of social distancing. Well, that's exactly what I've been doing uh, since Saturday when I went to Clever Pub. So I've been doing a bit of social distancing of my own and uh, because of this, well, now I'm actually working from home. So you can see here, this is my uh, workspace. So my company, the company that I work for here in Minsk, has actually given me the option of working from home. And that is exactly what I have been doing. So people have been asking me a lot of questions. So what is happening in Belarus right now in relation to the Corona or the Mexican beer crisis? I nearly said that word, but anyway, What's been happening is, guys, as well, it's been absolutely weird. Uh, life has been going on as normal over the last uh, two, three, four weeks since the whole Mexican beer uh, crisis happened. And um, people have been just been getting on with their lives, doing their normal thing, going restaurants, pubs, bars have been uh, full. Um, and what's actually most weird of all is uh, football. Now, as you know, all the football leagues in Europe, they've all actually been uh, banned at the moment. However, the Belarusian Football League is still actually going on at the moment. It's weird. It's absolutely weird, to say the least. So, yeah, and it's been getting a lot of attention. Uh, so, a lot of Belarusian teams, uh, clubs, both leagues, the top league and the, the first or the second tier, has actually been getting a lot of coverage in the, in the world and in the European media. And uh, I was looking at, I was reading an interview the other day with uh, Alexander Hleb. Now, footy fans will know exactly who Alexander Hleb is. He's perhaps, perhaps Belarus's most famous and perhaps its best footballer ever. Of course, he played for Arsenal. Um, I don't think he won the league with Arsenal in Premier League, did he? I'm not sure. I don't think he did. And of course, Barcelona, in which he did win La Liga back in 2009, I think it was. Okay, well, um, in a recent interview with the Sun newspaper, um, Alexander Leb said that because of um, the Belarusian Football League, that because it's playing at the moment, uh, we could have a situation where Lionel Messi and uh, Ronaldo might act, Cristiano Ronaldo might actually be playing in Belarus. You never know, guys. Belarus is the place to be. Amazing, the football matches, the football league games, they're all still going. And uh, I am currently suffering from withdrawal symptoms because of no footy. So I might actually catch a football game if I'm that irresponsible. Who knows? Never mind. Okay. So yeah, guys, things are weird here. Um, all countries around um, Belarus, they've closed off their borders, land borders. I think Russia only has an air border with Belarus right now. And uh, yeah, I'm stuck here. I'm actually in quarantine. I can't move. I can't go home. I can't go anywhere. And this is a problem for a lot of tourists uh, living uh, who are staying in Belarus at the moment. Uh, so a lot of tourists who are staying here, they, they, can, they are getting facilitated in extending their stay here up to 90 days. And as a resident myself here in Belarus, well, I'm in a bit of a, a tricky situation myself. Um, I'm a resident. I And every year I have to... Uh, renew my uh, residency permit, work permit, etc., and so on. Uh, so I have to renew that. And well, my passport is expiring um, in July. However, my residency permit is expiring in May. So I could be in a bit of a tricky situation if my passport, which is currently stuck in Dublin, um, if it doesn't get out, if it doesn't get out in time, I'll have to go through some more procedures and wait until my passport is sorted. So I think everything uh, will be fine, guys. You know, I'm gonna, especially when I see the news, see what's happening in places like Italy and Spain and now Great Britain, United States. Wow, you guys, you guys have got it bad. I have to say. All right. So guys, uh, it's a beautiful, absolutely beautiful Wednesday afternoon here in Minsk. You can see the sun is out. It's gorgeous. Right from the top of my uh, apartment block. Normally you're looking up at it. So yeah, people are going about their daily business um, as normal, as normal as can be. 
And uh, so yes, some people are actually in self-quarantine, like myself at the moment, and are, and are, are working from home like I am right now. And yes, so who knows what's going to happen here in Belarus. There hasn't been a big outbreak of the Mexican beer virus uh, so far in Belarus. Nobody has died and the official statistics say about 81 people have been infected, of which about 15, 20 have been released from hospital, fully recovered. So, touch wood, Belarus will be back to normal within the next few weeks, hopefully, and we have escaped the worst of it. Unfortunately, in my own country in Ireland, we haven't, unfortunately. There have been a number of deaths. So, guys, I just want to say before I leave you for the afternoon, um, yes, my second live stream uh, will take place this Friday evening at 11 p.m. Minsk time. Okay, so guys, I want to get back to my dinner. I'm hungry at the moment. So I'm currently working from home, as you can see here in my apartments. So I shall see you Friday night. 11 p.m. Minsk time on my live stream. So guys, as usual, please like, subscribe, and share. Okay, I'm gonna go back to my dinner. So guys, I will catch you later. Potatoes, peas, and fish. Do svidaniya.